Hello, Margie Bright, and I'm here with my lovely husband. And anyone that knows me knows how much I love Bill. And uh, we really have a special relationship. And we were just talking today about the love languages, the five love languages. Mm. And I thought we'd bring a live to you so that people could appreciate what these love languages are. So we were just going through them. The first one, Bill, is touch. Touch, touch. touch is really quite a crucial one for everybody. And yes. touch is good. Yes, it's a primary, primary thing. Another one is acts of service. Acts of service. Doing something for someone else, physically. Or and, and another one is words of affirmation. Words of affirmation work. And another one is. Well, you have to tell me. Gifts. Gifts, indeed. <laughs> giving, some, giving, 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 gifts. And another one is quality time. Quality time, which is obviously very, very important to many people. And uh, we just... So, Bill, what is your love language? Well, I like to access service. In other words, I really appreciate it when Margie or actually anybody does something that I can see that they're actually taking time to perform a task that's, that's, that I appreciate. So when I cook dinner? That works. Dinner works. <laughs> dessert works. Dessert really works. We both of <laughs> And if I uh, am thoughtful about what I do for Bill, knowing what his needs is and are, then that also works for him, bringing something home to him that is really generous to him. And for me, mine is? You like words of affirmation. So little dropping little words, kind, kind words, often it's, it really works it really that is the sort of thing that margie receives and she appreciates and as the receiver it's bill can clarify something for me or just put a lovely perspective on it because of his years of experience and it just makes all the difference so uh, drop in if you've ever read this particular book the five love languages we highly recommend that everyone reads it bill we and have i have to, both read it and it makes a very big difference in your connection and in your relationship. And our other one is quality time. Yes. So we're down here now enjoying a beautiful sunset and I'll post the sunset so that people can appreciate it afterwards. But if you know what the love languages are, this will really add to the relationship. And uh, we're bringing this live so that people, first of all, get to know more about us and also to really, really know what it's like to have a really fabulous and nourishing relationship. And how important is it for the love languages, Bill? Well, look, it's, it's all about communication. It's a whole world of, of connecting with someone else. So the love languages, as they say, well, it's like if you're very enthusiastic but you only speak French and the person you're talking to speaks German, well, you can try as hard as you can, but you're not going to connect with that person nearly as well as if you spoke the same language. So understanding these love languages, that's why you have to read the book. I mean, we talked shortly about it. Read the book, learn what the different love languages are. Talk to your partner, your associates, find out what they respond to, and actually then you'll be speaking the same language and they'll greatly increase your communication communication. It's, it's really beautiful stuff. You'll all be speaking the same language. It's, yeah, it's really absolutely beautiful. critical. And so find out who your significant other's language, what their love language is, and find out from your work colleagues what their love language is. And this will aid so much more into the art of communication, Connect, connection, connecting, connecting, and having very nurturing, loving relationships. You know, it's like when you, when you, give, when you receive gifts, I, whatever, your birthday or whatever's happening. And you get these things and you go, why did that person think I might I might want that sort of thing? I don't know what they had in their mind. Well, when they were figuring, picking it up, they had something very specific in their mind. But it wasn't what the sort of thing that you appreciate. So that's why it's so important to understand what the other person appreciates and how you're going to connect with it. Isn't that so? Absolutely. And so ours is quality time. Ours is gift of our time. And that is the greatest gift of all. Words, words of affection, words of affirmation, complimenting someone, taking the time to give them those words that they really appreciate. Or cook a good dinner. Works really well. <laughs> okay. Enjoy and a love life. Cheers. And really highly recommend this book, The Five Love Languages. And Take I'll drop in the comments below. 
how you can, uh, what the name of the full name of it, so that you can actually get it and uh, just enjoy reading it and ensuring that your partner also reads it so that you can both communicate mm -hmm. in the same way and connect even more deeply. Thank you, Bill. Pleasure. Love. Take care, folks. Bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha.